Hey guys, I want to share with you guys uh, something first before I start this uh, tutorial. Mm, recently, I wanted to create a look to help girls, uh, ladies and women who are not born with good looks or good figures to bring back their confidence. Let me share with you guys about myself. Without makeup, I don't look pretty at all. Mm, I look very ordinary. I can just uh, easily camouflage into the crowd without anyone uh, noticing the presence of me. And it was one of my major problems and without eyeliner, my eyes look small and lifeless. Without foundation, my skin doesn't look smooth at all. For the body wise, I do not have good figure. When I was young, people do make fun of my size. My, top, my current top size is around uh, L to XL. My bottom size is at least a XXL. In the past, because of my flaws, I'm not a confident person. Mm, I feel insecure when I uh, when I'm not wearing makeup, and I do not dare to wear revealing clothes. But now things have changed. I've become a more confident person. This is because I found uh, ways to enhance my beauty and ways to cover up my flaws. So I wanted to create this video to share with you guys the methods that I have found. Um, so this video is going to be quite a long video. So I am going to divide this video into two parts. For part one. It's going to be a makeup tutorial. I got the inspiration look uh, from a wedding dinner which I attended recently. Um, because most of the guests are my uncles and aunties who are usually more uh, conserved and tradition. So I wanted to create a look that is uh, not too overwhelming and still make me uh, stand out in the crowd. For the part 2, I'm going to share with you guys uh, how to dress up yourself to hide your flaws and break out your asset. As I was saying, I was preparing to attend a wedding dinner, so uh, I was dressed according to the event. I need to say that my methods may not be applicable to everyone, but uh, you guys can take this uh, video as uh, references and find a makeup, a makeup look and style that is suitable for yourself. I think nowadays color lens has been one of the must-have uh, cosmetic accessory. It helps to enlarge the eyes, give the eyes a, a look more awake and attractive. I'm not an adventurous person. I will not spend money on unique lenses which I may not like or too dramatic to me to wear it as a daily look. So for my lens, I usually stick to more conservative design and colors. In this picture, I'm wearing a grey lens. This is the lens that I will go for for daily look. And in this picture, I'm wearing a brown lens. This has an enlarged effect. I usually wear it when I'm going for a more dramatic look. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you can choose a unique uh, color lipstick like uh, black, green, blue, depend on your preferences and culture. For my case, I would just stick to bright lipstick. In my country, not many people wear heavy makeup and uh, put on lipstick. So a uh, bright color lipstick is good enough to make me uh, stand out from the crowd. So here are some of the swatch of the limited lipstick collection that I have. From the bottom, is Matte Relentlessly, Lady Danger, Lime Crime, Pink Velvet, and Wake Up. Before I decide uh, what to wear, I need to ask myself a few questions like uh, what is the event that I'm attending? For my case, I'm attending a casual style of buffet dinner, so I should not overdress myself. And second question is who are the majority of the guests? As for my case, uh, most of the guests are my uncles and aunties who are usually more tradition and conservative, so um, heavy makeup may not be appropriate. As in the end, I decided that I will wear a black top and a grey skirt. As I've said at the beginning of this video, I do not have good figures. So a black clothing is able to uh, cover up my flaws and make uh, me look slimmer. Black is also well known to represent um, sexy and mysterious. As I do not want to wear all black, so I decided to pair my black top with a grey skirt. Uh, avoid. Avoid wearing a uh, white color clothing, which will highlight your flaws like your um, protruding tummy and your uh, big tie. For the undergarment, you can wear a 
nude bra or a normal bra depends on your preferences. As for my case, because uh, my top is made from a very thin material, so I will go for a tube bra so that um, the clothes will not show the imprint of the bra. So this is the tube bra that I'm saying. Uh, I'm showing you guys a white color bra so that you guys can have a better look at it. I will go for a black or a white bra depends on the color of the clothes that I'll be wearing. If you want to showcase some creativity, you can uh, change the bra strap. For me, I rarely wear strapless, so uh, these are the only two bra straps that I can show you guys. I choose a bit um, bra straps because when I wear it, it is more like um, I'm wearing a necklace instead of a bra strap. For the underwear, I will be wearing a high waist uh, underwear. This will give me the uh, curve shape. One disadvantage uh, for wearing a high waist underwear is that it does not flatten out the tummy. So if you are looking for a slim waist flat tummy, I recommend you guys to go for a body shape. Last but not least, you need to wear a beautiful and comfortable high heels. It will make you look taller, slimmer and it also well, brings out your confidence. I think that if you want to stand out from the crowd, you do not need to show your cleavage or wear revealing clothes. All women can look gorgeous and sexy in a graceful way by just uh, showing your shoulder and your collarbone. I've heard a survey done among the men that they think women's uh, shoulder and collarbones are two of the sexiest parts in women. So uh, from this survey, um, it shows that revealing other parts of our body may not be as appealing as what we think to the men. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys uh, find this video useful. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!